hello and uh, welcome to another video uh, on how to trade um, volatility on thriving nets okay today we'll be looking at a strategy uh, that you can use to trade uh, v75 on the 15 minutes time frame um, I have three windows uh, meta trader have five windows uh, I have the main window this is the main window I have indicator window one. This is indicator window one, and I have indicator window two. Now oh, this indicator window two. Okay, how does the strategy work? Okay, uh, let's look at the indicators first on the main window. Um, we have a moving average, uh, twenty period, uh, moving average the shift is zero method is exponential apply to close and the color is brown and then we have another moving average uh, 16 period uh, moving average shift is zero the method is simple apply to previous indicators data color is green and then we have fractals okay now on the main chart how does this work uh you place your um buy trade for instance when a uh, price on the main chart closes above the price closes above uh, the two moving averages you place your buy trade or you look for buy entries when the uh, brown moving average crosses above the green moving average then for sell trade you place your sell trade you go short when price closes below the two uh, moving averages are like around here you go short okay or you go short when the brown moving average cross down uh, below the green moving average okay same thing for when you're buying place your buy trade when price close above uh, the two moving averages or you go uh, you go, sh you you place a buy or you go long when the brown move not recross above. Okay, like you have around there. Same thing happens for when you're selling. If the brown move not recross below the uh, green moving average, you can place a sell trade. Or if price closes below the two moving averages, just like you have around here, you can place your sell trade and scalp some profit and then if you're buying just like we have explained in the past you possibly buy around here if you're selling you sell around here and you'll be good and if you're buying you wait for price to get above the two moving averages just like you have around here and you can scalp um buy okay scalp and buy and if you are selling just like you have um just like the explanation i did the sell just up below uh the two moving averages especially when they cross the sell and then make some profit okay but for indicator window one let's look at the settings uh we have macd uh the first em is 12 uh, so EMA is 26 uh, MACD SMA is uh, 9 apply to close okay no color for the main arrow signal then you have um, moving average uh, the period is 250 and the, and the shift is 0 uh the method is linear weight uh applied to first indicators data and the color is blue okay still on um indicator with the one we have another moving average uh the period is two on red shift is zero method is linear weight applied to first indicators data color is blue okay then you have another moving average this time around the period is one shift is zero 
uh, method is linear weight applied first indicator state our color is red okay so if we go to the main chart to look at um, how you can apply uh, this uh, settings how you can um, apply the signals okay when the red cross below the blue that gives you uh, your cell signal if the red cross above okay if the red cross above that's your buy signal okay the cross is below the blue the cell signal cross is above so buy signal very simple and effective for profit making okay this sell signal uh, this uh, buy signal okay so that's about it for indicator window one okay what about indicator window two let's look at the settings let's look at the parameters okay indicator window two we have a uh, stochastic oscillator uh the percentage k period is 14. the percentage uh, percentage d period is three uh the slowing is a uh, three price field is applied to close over close uh the method is linear weight now for the star color uh, for the main you have green for signal you have red now for the levels let's look at the stochastic oscillator levels you have five and 95 uh, the color is black okay still on uh, indicator window two we have macd uh, the fast ema is 25 macd slow ema is 20. Uh, the macd sma is seven apply to close no color because the level is zero okay moving on we have moving average the period is 60 uh, shift is zero method is slim, uh, simple applied to first indicators data and uh, the color is black uh, also the moving average 20, 20 period shift is zero method is simple apply to first indicators data and the color is blue i think that's that's the last of it so if you go to the uh, uh chart we have um uh, our signal for our signal is when the uh red and green line when they cross above uh, the blue line that gives you your buy like you have around here you have your buy signal around here okay now when it gets to the top and it laps within five level you have price at the resistance okay when it drops you have your sell signal it's barely around here okay then when it gets to the base when it gets to the five level you have support level expect it to rise when it get when it crosses the blue okay buy signal and crosses the black buy confirmation when it gets to the uh, 95 level that's your resistance area okay that's your resistance area so it drops below the uh, blue cell signal it drops below the black cell confirmation that's for you to sell please a sell trade okay buy trade is when it starts to go above the blue and black like you have around here okay initially you can see it going above here but it failed it failed twice but it was successful here and you can even see on the main chart a failure a failure until you have, you have a success and you also have confirmation where the brown crosses above the green okay if you check the um the indicator window one you can see the confirmation here where the red line crosses above but the red line did not cross anywhere around here where you have the two failures but it was a success here 
you can you can see the synchronization of signals on all windows okay for you to place a buy trade so in as much as you have synchronization of signals you have a cell here you have a cell here and you have a cell here then you can conveniently enter your cell tree so that's that for the strategy it's a very good strategy you like it uh you make sure you back test it check it, check it with whatever time frame you're using it on you can use it on any time frame you can use this uh settings on the five on the one minute five minutes 15 minutes like i'm using it on the 15 minutes okay you can use it on 15 minutes you can use it on 30 minutes you can use it on the one hour time frame okay um make sure you click subscribe to the youtube channel subscribe to the channel uh please subscribe please click the like button okay also click the notification button the bell button be below the video so that you'll be notified when we upload another video uh you can drop your comments ask questions state your question below the video we'll try, try as much as possible to uh explain or give answers to your question okay okay don't forget to visit our website uh www.benefxtrader.com we also have another website fxfables.com you get to learn how to trade forex and volatility index on these two websites all right till i come your way next time is